So we're going to shade, uh, do a side load float with warm white on the wings. I'm going to use three eighths or a number 10 shader. So just a small side load float, blend it out really well. around the outer parts of our wings. And then I'll do the little wing that's underneath first. And then this wing. Flip my brush. Come back from this wing nice and soft and I'll nice and softly mop it out. They are going to get a little bit of an outlining later so that will pop it up a bit and we're going to be putting some ice crystal glamour dust on here. We're going to do a little bit of shading on the head and on the body. So I'm just going to shade. This is with graphite. There and there. Along the top of the head. And then again along the bottom of the nose. Her little purse is getting shaded with dioxazine purple. Flip my brush around and come back here. I'm going to switch to a, <clears throat> pardon me, smaller brush. I'm going to use my one quarter or a number six or an eight and I'm going to side load in mermaid tail and I'm going to shade along the top of her eyes. That's going to give her a little bit of eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take neutral gray and I'm going to shade a little highlight float. And I like to blot with my finger. Just gives a little blur on the eye. I'm also going to shade a little bit across the white. With the neutral gray, I'm going to take, I'm just going to grab my little uh, 1 8 lunar blender and use it for dry brushing because it's tiny enough. And I'm going to dry brush a little in the middle of her nose. Scarf it off, pick up a little bit of warm white. Got that off and dry brush a little there and in the middle of her body there. So 
was just a little warm white. I might actually pop that up a little bit more with the warm white too. Now, I'm going to shade with a little bit of black, lamp black. Here we go. No, that's black green. Lamp black. And it's not very much. All I'm going to do is shade on her shoes, her little dancing shoes. <clears throat> and it's not a big shadow. All it does, and when you're shading on metallics, it doesn't really show up that good. All you're looking for is just a little bit of definition. <clears throat> you may even decide to... Um, Trying to dry brush a little scuff onto it. Sometimes that's a little more successful. But we're not looking for lots here. We just want to put a little bit of shadow on there. <clears throat> and it's going to be the same thing that we're going to put on the handle. Just a little bit of black. And I'll put a little bit underneath where her hand's resting on it. We are going to put sparkle and glitter on all this. But it does give it a little bit. There's a bit on the little antenna balls, too. <clears throat> it does give a little bit of a highlight. And I'll take my liner, and I'll just streak a tiny little bit. Not big bucks worth just a swipe. Hardly anything at all. On her legs. And on her arms just to give a little highlight, and then again, of course, on her antenna. I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit of white, on, warm white on the dirty liner. And I'll just put a couple little dots along the bottom. Her eyes are going to be outlined, and that's going to make a big difference on them. But I'm going to strengthen the gray shading and go all the way across. And it might be enough that you won't even need the uh, neutral gray, because it's probably going to just cover it completely. But I want to go across the green of the eye as well. And then just a tiny bit of white highlight on the eye. And that's it. So her little eyes are just coming into play. Her little eyelashes and things will be added with the uh, nice and fine lining afterwards. We'll do a very thin outline of our wing. Not bold we just hit and miss. It's just a simple, fine line. And I'll just add a couple of little, really super fine little veins in her wings. Nothing bold. I would rather that be very sheer. It's better to say, if, you know, do I see it or do I not see it? I'll just fix that little bit of a line on there. The very tip can have a little stronger.
and that looks pretty good. All right. Now we're going to shade with honey brown and I'm going to shade with a half inch because I want her little butt to look like it's glowing. So by going honey brown and shading all the way around. Now when you're doing something like this, you're going to stop part way and I would dry it. Now that it's dried, I can come back here and shade under that belly and her skirt wing. Now I'm going to take my liner. I'm going to thin down the honey brown. Nice and inky. And I'm going to outline. And now we're going to add the little ring. Oh, I actually don't want to add those yet. Now I'm going to dry brush. And I'm going to use a quarter inch with warm white dome stippler. Scuff it off on my toweling. Come in the center here. So it's going to make my little... Um, but start its glow. Now I'll take my liner and I'll add my nice little thin rings. I'm going to take my peacock teal and my liner with white and I'm going to just brush mix that and I'm going to add a little highlight along the top of her eyelid. Her purse and her eyelids are going to get covered in the sparkle or glamour dust. So it's the turquoise sparkle on her eyelids and the purple is going to go on her purse. So they're going to have that bling happening there. So that little highlight is going to show up there. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to shade her little skirt. So we have black plum and I'm going to shade with my 3 8 or a number 10 and so I'm going to shade right here while that's drying, I'm going to come down her back and shade on the back of her little, we're calling it her little skirt, but it's really her back wing.
and then there as well and along the bottom Now again, she's going to have some sparkle on there, but it wouldn't hurt to give her some little tiny bits of polka dots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my royal fuchsia and I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to mix it with white, just a little bit like we did with the teal. And I'm just going to kind of just mix a smidge of it there. So I'm taking the white. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop it up and make a little brighter pink. So it's just going to be a little bit brighter. And we need to get another color for this. And I'm going to take a nice tiny little stylus. And we're going to dot some of these little dots on here. Everything's going to have a pattern because this is one little classy little girl. And there's her little pattern on her dress. Again, she's going to get a little bit of glitz there too. And dry brush the slate gray in all of the little gray sections. So that's in the middle of the head, middle of the body, middle of the muzzle. So I'm going to start doing some dry brushing and what I want to do is I'm going to do a little peacock. So it's a little of the peacock teal. I pick it up on a dome stippler, pounce it in on the palette. I've got a little uh, tiny one eighth scuff it off on my paper towel and I'm going to just set in a nice soft little background dry brushing for where I'm going to have a few little fireflies that are going to glow in our background. You might be tempted to go a little crazy with this but we don't want to. So I don't want it to be directly across from any of them to be right across from each other. So I'm going to put this little glow and then I think I'd like a little bit of one in here too. There. So we've got some little fireflies happening in our background. If we feel we want more later we could add them. So I'm going to let that set up a bit. You always want to let it dry a wee bit. And now I'm going to go to a, a one quarter dome stippler. I'm going to pick up marigold. So while I'm letting my others dry, I'm going to take marigold. Again, you off on your paper towel. And I want to put, start my glow that's going to happen around. The main little firefly's butt. And this glow
and it's going to even be glowing up into the wings. We want to have this really coming out nicely from her. Right? It, it doesn't matter. You use marigold and you can go right around on her little uh, glowing bum <laughs> because that is going to be adding uh, a little more strength even around there. So now I'm going to take this smaller one and I'm going to pick up a little of the marigold. I don't want to too much. And this is another one because I don't want a dirty. And I'm going with marigold, kind of in the center of my little turquoise ones. Just in the center of them. So you can still see a bit of the turquoise around them. If we need a bit more turquoise going around them afterwards, like this guy's kind of wiped out. I still have the turquoise in my brush. I didn't clean that one out, I just left it there. I can kind of just take and softly go around with a bit more turquoise. That just pops that out a bit more. And then I'm going to go into a little tiny bit of moon yellow with my dirty brush from the marigold. Now this is the smaller one. And I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of moon yellow in the middle of those. It's more of a scratch of a bit in. There we go. And I can take that size brush too and work with here. I could go to my other one, but so I'm going to brighten up her glow. Around her little butt, even down the middle. We did dry brush there earlier, but then we put our stripes on top. So I can just put a little bit more. Now I'm going to <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm going to take, I want a little of that here as well. See how that brightens up. Now what I'm going to take is my Lunar Blenders. Because these work to dry brush as well, but what's going to be good with this is I'm going to be able to bring it out in streaks. I'm going to take both Moon Yellow and Marigold on the same brush. Scuff it off here and I'm going to come out and you see how it's like making little rays? So it's Moon Yellow and Marigold. Once I get these where I want them to be. Then I'll just strengthen them up with just moon yellow. So now this is just moon yellow picked up here. Just brightening up the little glows. Now the last time I do this, I'm not going to scuff as much off. This way I should, and don't press hard. This way I should be able, there, see how I can see more defined. But the important thing is that you're not going to press too hard. If you press too hard, There. So we have all those little tiny glows and then I'll just almost like a little star. 
doing like a one line this way, one line this way. Flatten to the chisel. There we go. We're not wanting them to be pressing too hard. And now for those little distant guys. I'll use a liner and I'll just thin down a bit of moon yellow and we'll do just a couple. That'll be quite defined. Got that nice little glow coming from them. And then I'll just, I want the little firefly itself. So I'm picking up the moon yellow, just dabbing my liner into moon yellow and a bit of marigold. And we'll just, so we can see that there's a little firefly inside there. I don't want it to be white, white like the moon yellow would make it. So it's got a little of that in there. So now look how sweet those little glowing fireflies are in the background. They work so cute. And I'm going to take our moon yellow and our marigold and I'm going to just base coat in our little lightning bolt for our spark. They're going to all get a bit of galaxy glitter on them. Galic, no, pardon me. A little bit of glamour dust on them. And the words are going to be done in the peacock teal. So I've done the outlining with my um, pen. Uh, I'm using the Identa pen and uh, the Secura Identa pen and I outline everything. I've added her eyelashes. I didn't outline the words. I did the lightning bolt and I'm not doing the little fireflies either or her wings. And I don't want to outline her little butt because we want that to stay the bright, bright yellow. I'm going to take Royal Fuchsia now and I'm going to make a heart by doing two of what we call the Dolly Parton hearts, uh, two of the dots. And then we take a liner, that's with my stylus, and we just pull that down. And that gives her the cute little lips. If you want them fatter and wider out, you can widen them out. But that's her little lips that we're going to put in there. And those won't be outlined either. And that's it for our little firefly. She's a little sweetie. And... Uh, Great to do for your little granddaughters or anyone special who could use a little bit of uh, boosting. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>